Hey guys, Adam here at DirectionTrader.com. I just wanted to jump on here and show you guys how I manage a live um, counter trend trade. I'm, I'm predominantly I'm a trend trader, almost to the T. But uh, every so often, uh, if something sets up accordingly, I will take a counter trend position, um, such as this one. We're ultimately in an uptrend, guys, so that's what's keeping me in this. But we're in a micro downtrend here in a wedge fa uh, little pattern here. So if you were to, let me get out my drawing tool here, and I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. Sorry about that, guys. So if you were to draw here, we have somewhat of a, a descending wedge. So we're counter trend that wedge, but we're in the ultimate uptrend. So, I am in a counter trend move, um, you know, in my eyes, but what I'm looking at is to get in a high percentage setup, which we had nice support down here. You can see a well-established support. I waited for confirmation. First green bar, I ended up entering long. Uh, I went long one position. I will, I got my final target right up here, which um, it can be adjusted, guys. But uh, basically, the goal of this is to get into a free trade and then to manage it fairly easy moving forward from here. So let's just see how this plans out. Let me pause this and I'll come back and I'll show you how I manage it as it starts to move in my direction. Basically, I just want to show you how I manage using these Heikinashi bars. Um, just high percentage. Heikinashi is a little bit different than your average high, low, open, close candle. What you can do here is two different ways I, I teach in the trading room. Either manage behind the eight period moving average, which is the white line here, or behind the low of the previous Heikinashi bar. Um, currently, we're in this Heikinashi bar right here. Um, as soon as it's done forming, we will move up the stop to right below it. Um, but until that point, I will kind of sit here on my hands. We're starting to get a move here, guys. So um, I'm going to trail it up. Let's get uh, right behind the 8-period moving average. We're at 99.6. All this does is give us some room to uh, you know, allow some fluctuation in the market. We're ultimately waiting for it to get up here a little bit higher. And then uh, we'll either get stopped out by a trailing stop or it's going to go up here and hit our target, which let's, uh, let's find out what that is, guys. I just wanted to basically teach you how to trail here. But... Um, if nothing else, maybe we'll take a nice profit here. Um, it is a great position. We have a lot of support here, guys. But I'm looking actually to retest all the way up here. This is actually going to be a very large move if it works out. If not, we're going to get caught in a trail stop. So 405.6 is the next resistance. Um, that's the next major resistance, at least. So let's look at 1405.4. Uh, that is a very large move for this type of trading strategy, guys. 1405, let's just do it right in front. And we'll call it good. So I, I definitely see us getting st stopped out here via trail stop, but who knows, guys. These markets can uh, push pretty hard if they want to. All it takes is a few, few groups of buyers to come in here and see that, hey, we've bought up these lows once twice three so the fourth time we're buying up this level and this has obviously became uh it's been uh previous resistance and now it is new support all the way across here guys so well established level let's just see if we can get the get the buyers to come in here and go ahead and push it up for us so be nice and patient here um let's see here oops not what we're looking for is it so. so you see as we move up here guys we're going to keep moving our trail stop up keep moving this up guys keep locking in profits this is a way to lock in very good profits to manage the trade accordingly whenever you're only using one entry one exit now a lot of people i know like to do multiple exits whether you take half off at a certain position or another i do that as well in my live trading room but in this example, I'm just going to continue to trail. And the higher we get, the closer I'm going to pinch this, guys. Because if there's one thing that I can't sleep at night with is giving back profits. Once I have money in my possession, I can't stand to give it back. So we're reaching somewhat of a minor resistance here. So I've pinched it a little bit tighter than normal. 
I'm in here a little bit more tight, guys. So I'm going to continue to trail this. We're going to see this start to roll down. If we can get a little spike up, that would be wonderful. If not, I'm probably going to get stopped out here as a trail stop, which was to be expected in a position like this, being that we're not going uh, like half off. We're not we're not taking um, half off at a certain position and letting a, trail, a runner go. We're actually going all in, all out. So it's a great way to manage, especially if you're a one or two lot trader. You're going to see exactly what I'm doing here and how I was able to wait for it to go 10 to 12 ticks in my direction in the gold market and I took uh, my stop from from minus hold on one sec guys sorry about that guys so basically once it went 10 to 12 ticks in my direction I brought my stop from uh, two ticks below these lows up to my entry price and now I've been trailing ever since right behind the 8 period moving average We've reached some resistance, so I've trailed a little bit tighter here, guys. But other than that, it's still in this uptrend. It's still pushing up. Like I said, I plan to get probably trail stopped out of it. Unless we get a crazy spike, it will head up and retest its resistance, which is wonderful. Um, there's one thing I always say whenever trading wedges. You have lows, and you have these highs. Now, once these highs get broken, once this channeling is broken that doesn't mean to automatically buy it all I do is I look left for the next resistance which falls right there and that's whenever I look to sell again so I'm taking profits just in front of that next high spike which is quite a ways up here guys we got a lot of room up here we're going to 1405 just over 1405 here so we have a lot of room here so this could be a little bit of a long video or we're gonna get trail stopped out of it there's a lot of little micro resistance all the way up here and uh, you know we may get trigger stopped out of it kinda like right there <laughs> that's kinda how the gold works guys you get trail stopped out of it and I need to cancel these orders alright so now we're completely out of it but I just wanted to show you how you can go all in all out versus uh, actually scaling so if you come to my trading room at directiontrader.com you'll see me scale out some of the time and you'll see me use a position like this some of the time so it all depends on what we're doing I do very few counter trend trades guys technically I'm calling this a counter trend trade because I use the 200 EMA and it is pointing down on the smaller time frame I use a 200 EMA and if it's pointing down I only take shorts for my trend trades so this is a rarity this is a high percentage counter trend setup so just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, it's this Friday, uh, going into lunch, so things are really slowing down. I want to be a little bit more cautious. I'm probably going to call it a week and just move forward. So, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to learn more about how I manage the trades in the live trading room, come by DirectionTrader.com and take a trial, guys. I'll see you guys. Have a good weekend.